Hey guys, welcome to another Jungle Spider tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I do my textures. Well, first off, I'm, I'm just going to make an all layer. Well, as you can see here, I'm using a brush that I've made, uh, and I use this a lot when I'm making my textures as well. So I'm going to give you a rundown of how I made this brush in the first place and I did a couple of variations of it as well so I've got like more smoother ones and I've got sharper ones I use this one a lot this uh, 198 one here but I'm gonna start off with a basic brush bring your size down hardness 0 I'm going to lower my opacity a bit, lower my flow as well. Come to the colour black. You just want to draw out some little dots. I'm going to go to scattering. Basically, I, I like that. Uh, I could use that as a brush for my texture, so I, I'm going to use that anyway. I'm going to get my rectangle and marquee tool. I'm going to draw out dotted lines around it. Then I'm going to go to Edit, De Define, Brush, Preset. Call it a name, call it whatever you want. Click OK. Hold down control, press D to deselect them dotted lines. Make an all layer, hide that layer. Come to your brush. Down at the bottom, here's that brush I've just made. So now we've got a nice brush there. We're going to hide all that. Make an all there. Uh, I'm gonna fill an all layer up. Hold down Control and click here to make your dotted lines. Make an all layer. Come to channels. Uh, if you haven't got channels window open, come to window, then channels. And you see down here this square with the circle icon. Click that to make a new alpha channel. Yours will probably be called alpha 1. It's because I've been working in here already. Click your alpha. So we're now uh, in as alpha 2 channel. Yours will probably be called alpha 1, like I just said before. You can always tell that you're in your alpha channel because your colours have gone black and grey here if you add colours set as your foreground and background. So I'm going to go for this grey colour here. Colour code is 4E4E4E. E, e, e. I'm going to fill that up, hold down Control, press the letter D to deselect. I'm going to change my foreground colour and have black now and I, I want to keep that grey there so because we're going to use it again in a bit come to his brush tool the brush that we've just made uh, I'm going to bring me flow up bring me opacity up a bit and I'm just going to click in here Just 
like that then I'm going to change my colour to this grey I'm going to change my brush to a, a basic brush uh, with the hardness set a bit higher Uh, opacity set on full. I'm just going to draw out a little thing like that. Then I'm going to change my brush back to the brush that we made. I'm going to lower my opacity. Higher my opacity a bit. Lower my brush size a little bit. See what I'm doing? I'm I'm blending them edges back in with the brush that we used to make the other part. Then I'm going to change back to black. I'm going to lower the opacity quite really low this time, about twelve. Click back in as grey part. Right, I'm going to leave it at that for that part. Now, once that's done, you want to come over here and click your layer. We're now back in as layers. So now we've got that. Uh, I'm going to click on this layer 3, this one that I, I filled in with a colour. And I'm going to come to Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. I'm going to pick my Alpha 2 channel. You you can set your settings here to whatever you want. Just mess about with them. You get, you'll get all different effects. All right, set your, your spotlight up. We're on type spotlight here. Once I've done all that, just, just click OK. And as you can see, we got a nice looking texture here now. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come to image adjustments. You might not be able to see this part. U and saturation. I'm going to click that. Colorize. Just come to some colors what, what you might like. I'm going to change my U a bit. Click OK. Come to my blending options. I'm, I'm going to go down some blending modes to see what I like. Make an all there. I already had one made here. Uh, come to us colours. Uh, that looks quite nice. That brush we made. Now we just put in different, different colours in now. Just to get more variation and stuff, I'm gonna highlight both of them. I'm gonna merge them together. Filter, uh, filter, sharpen. I'm gonna sharpen that up a bit. I'm gonna see what some blending options look like with it. Go down some blending modes. I kind of like that. I'm going to lower my opacity on it. And I'm going to leave it at that for now. Uh, and you just uh, keep doing this. Getting different variations of the same texture. Because you can use them for all different things. You can mix and match these textures what you make. Like that. I'd save that as a JPEG now. I'd take that off. I'd save that as a JPEG. Then I'd save that as a JPEG as well. Then I've got three variations of the same texture, but yeah, a different variation. <laughs>
this is what I do uh, but like I've made it really small here you want to work on like a really big image making your texture like a 1080p 1080p canvas uh, size like 19, 20, 1080. You, you'd want to make a full texture like that size, if you know what I mean. So when, once you've done all that, yeah, just keep making different versions and doing different blend modes. Like when you're working on something, you want to bring all these textures into that document what you're working on and you want to mix and match them you want you want to blend them into each other you want to do exactly what we've just been doing but just keep working on it get different colors uh, so that's it I hope you you understood all that anyway and I hope you find it quite easy so cheers see you everybody